Hello and welcome to Maker Ed at Home. My name is Luke. Do you love music? I know I sure do. Today our challenge is to make a... A toilet paper kazoo! A kazoo is a member of the membranophone family of instruments. A membranophone uses a membrane or resonator to produce sound. When you hum, talk, or sing into a kazoo, the air produced by your voice vibrates the membrane or resonator, creating its unique buzzing sound. Supplies You will first need aluminum foil or wax paper, a few rubber bands, a paper towel or a toilet paper roll, a pair of scissors, something to decorate your kazoo with. I have some non-toxic paint and a paintbrush or a Q-tip. Step one, let's do some decorating. I'm first going to paint my kazoo with a coat of white paint. This will help the next two colors pop. All right, now I'm going to add my second color. I've chosen yellow and black for the Kennesaw State University Owls. Hootie hoo! Now with my black paint, I'm going to take my Q-tip and add a nice dotted design around my kazoo. If you're an impatient person like me, you can always use a hair dryer to dry this paint faster. Give it a try. Step two, we need to create our membrane or resonator. For my membrane, I'm going to use wax paper. If you don't have wax paper available, you can try using parchment or aluminum foil. I've got about a 12 inch sheet of wax paper here. I'm going to use a bowl to trace a circle for my membrane. This is to make sure that we have enough wax paper for our membrane to cover our toilet paper roll. Now it's time to get out our scissors. If you need help, please ask an adult. We're going to cut along the black line that we just created by tracing our bowl. Step three, now it's time to assemble our kazoo. Take your wax paper and put it in the center of your toilet paper roll. Fold it down on the sides so that it's nice and tight at the top. Then take your rubber band and wrap it around your toilet paper roll so that it secures the wax paper. Check and make sure that all of the wax paper is underneath your rubber band. Great job! Step 4. Now we need to take our scissors and safely put a hole in the side of our kazoo to allow a small amount of air to escape when we are playing. Please be very careful during this step. If you need help, please ask an adult.
Fantastic. Now we have a completed kazoo ready to play. Once again, the wax paper is our membrane or resonator. When we hum, talk, or sing into our kazoo, the air vibrates the membrane, causing it to have its unique buzzing sound. One of the great things about this activity is that you can experiment with different sizes and materials. For example, I've got a long uh, paper towel roll that I used to, with one layer of wax paper. It kind of gave it a deeper sound. And I've noticed that if you open your mouth on the side where there's the kazoo is partially open, and move your kazoo over your mouth back and forth, not getting too much spit, of course, it makes a really cool sound. Watch this. Now, another one that I've got, I went extreme opposite. This is my piccolo kazoo. It's half the size of a regular toilet paper roll. And when you put your mouth up to it, same concept. You're gonna to wanna to put half of your mouth over the toilet paper roll. Because it has a much smaller resonator, it gives it a little bit of a higher sound. So let's start from the highest one. And there you go. High, medium, and low. All three kazoos. Boom! You can also experiment with the different types of resonators that you're putting over your kazoo. For example, I used wax paper and aluminum foil for this kazoo. It's a little bit different. It has kind of like a muted trumpet sound, if you've ever seen that. If you haven't, check it out on Google. Thank you for watching this video. Maker Ed at Home is brought to you by the KSU I Teach Maker Bus team. Share your creation online using the hashtag I Teach Maker. See you, makers. Woo!